For most people, the confusion and uncertainty surrounding this subject begin with the word psychopathy itself. Literally, it means mental illness from psyche, mind, and pathos, disease. And this is the meaning of the term still found in some dictionaries. Many researchers, clinicians, and writers use the terms psychopath and sociopath interchangeably. In many cases, the choice of the term reflects the user's views on the origins and determinants of the clinical syndrome or disorder described in this book. Thus, some clinicians and researchers, as well as most sociologists and criminologists, who believe that the syndrome is forged entirely by social forces and early experiences, prefer the term sociopath. Whereas those, including this writer, who feel that psychological, biological, and genetic factors also contribute to development of the syndrome, generally use the term psychopath. The same individual, therefore, could be diagnosed as a sociopath by one expert and as a psychopath by another. Psychopaths are not disoriented or out of touch with reality, nor do they experience the delusions, hallucinations, or intense subjective distress that characterize most other mental disorders. Unlike psychotic individuals, psychopaths are rational and aware of what they are doing and why. Their behavior is the result of choice, freely exercised.